Now in this lesson we do a review of earlier work we've done in geometry. Let's start with some common abbreviations. This symbol means angle. And this of course means triangle. This is short for quadrilateral. Is parallel to? Is perpendicular to? Parallelogram? Straight line. Opposite? Point. Isosceles? Equilateral? Vertically opposite? Corresponding? Alternate? Co-interior? Exterior angle? Interior angles? So there's some common abbreviations there. Now, of course, if you can remember them, it makes writing your solutions a lot quicker. But if you can't remember them, it's no big deal. You just need to uh, you need to write them out. That's all. Let's look at some examples then. Some simple examples. We need to find x in each of the following. Now, this example here, there's x. It's next to the 140 degrees, and together it's a straight angle. So we'd say that x equals 40 degrees because angles on a straight line add to 180. The next one. We've got some vertically opposite angles. Okay, That x and that 50 degrees, we we'll say it's vertically opposite. And they're equal. So x equals 50 degrees, vertically opposite angles. Now these three angles, okay, they're all angles at a point. So that x and the 180 and the 120 all together make 360 degrees. So if you do the calculation, we'll find that x equals 140 degrees. Reason? Angles at a point add to 360. Now, these next three are going to be examples with parallel lines involved. Now, that x and that 70 degrees, we say that x equals 70 degrees. They're equal because they are alternate. Say so alternate angles with parallel lines. Now that x and the 100 degrees, they're also equal. Reason? Corresponding angles and parallel lines. Now the x and the 100 degrees, well this time they're not equal. Okay, They add up to 180 degrees, so x has to be 80 degrees. And the reason is co-interior angles add to 180 degrees. Again, we must have parallel lines for these results to take effect. Now this is an old, an easy one. Okay, all those angles, of course, add up to 180. So x you'll find is 60 degrees. Angle sum of a triangle is 180 degrees. Now this is a special type of triangle, very common in this course. It's an isosceles triangle, and that angle there is the same as that angle there. So we say x equals 70 degrees. Base angles of isosceles triangle are equal. And finally, in terms of the triangles at least, we've got an equilateral triangle there. All the sides are equal, and as a result, all the angles are equal. So x equals 60 degrees. It's an angle in an equilateral triangle. Now, in this case, we've got a triangle, but one of the sides has been produced or extended. And we created an x on the outside, and that's called an exterior angle, that x. So that x on the outside, the exterior angle, is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. So 60 and 50 adds up to 110. So x equals 110 degrees. Exterior angle of triangle equals the sum of the opposite interior angles. Now this shape, do you remember what it's called? Well certainly it's got four sides, so it's a quadrilateral, but specially named a parallelogram. And that x you'll find is the same as the opposite angle. So x equals 115 degrees. Opposite angles in a parallelogram are equal. And uh, the final one we're doing here, this is a quadrilateral, four sides, not, a, not any special type of quad. So all those four angles add up to 360 degrees. So using the calculation, we'd find that x equals 70 degrees, okay, to make up the 360. Angle sum of a quad is 360 degrees. Now, this is some new work. Intercepts made by parallel lines. You probably haven't seen these before. Now, a family of parallel lines will cut transversals in the same ratio. Now, if we've got a family of parallel lines there, 
if we have one transversal there, and let's say it's split up in the ratio x and y, okay, they're the lengths, x and y, then at any other transversal, all right, let's say in this case m and n, you'll find there's a ratio result that happens. And the ratio is simply this, x over y is equal to m over n. All right, so that's if we have a family of parallel lines. Now, a special case is when there are equal intercepts. So again, there's our family of parallel lines. And if the first transversal is cut equally, okay, so you've got equal intercepts there, then any other transversal will also be cut with equal intercepts. And a way of saying that, let's bring some letters in. All right, some points there. We could say that since AB equals BC, okay, they were the first two intervals we marked, then as a result, DE equals EF, and the reason, family of parallel lines cut transversals in the same ratio. So that's how we'd write that reason. Let's look at an example based on that. Find the value of M. Okay, so you've got three parallel lines there, a family of parallel lines, and two transversals. Now the M and the 12. Okay, we're going to write that as a fraction, M over 12, and that will match up with 8 over 15. So it's simple as that. And the reason, family of parallel lines cut transversals in the same ratio. Okay, fairly simple equation here. We're trying to find M. At the moment, it's being divided by 12. So we'd need to multiply both sides by 12 there. As a result, we'd get that M equals 8 fifteenths times 12. And calculating that, we come up, therefore, with M equals 6 and 2 fifths.